Hello guys, this is Robocation again. In this video tutorial, we will see how to install uh, Swift in Arch Linux. So you have to download this snapshot for Ubuntu. Now you are saying that if you download from uh, your AUR, so it will damage, uh, it will cause more errors and you have to solve that errors because it is building from scratch from source. So you have to just download this 16.04 and it is downloading now you have to create a folder swift and then go to that folder it is empty and you have to download this here so i have already downloaded i am extracting this here now after extracting go to user folder bin and open terminal here now if you run this file our swift file it causing an error lib at dot s uh, dot so two dot found now close now you have to open up a terminal here our uh, downloaded directory where you have extracted your uh, snapshot then you have to link the error directory okay we have linked it now set dash x ld library path and you have to just copy this and you have to paste it here that's it you have to go to your user bin folder and bam it's running now you have to check it if it's running or not hello world simple it's running now before going to further i have to say that if you close this terminal so after you go to terminal and then again you go to user again bean and it will not run so you have to every time set this variable in your uh, bash rc so now i am going to tell you how do you do in your bash shell so in bash shell you have to just export uh, this is my uh, which I have used you have to export set same as LD library path in your downloaded folder okay uh, and this downloaded folder is this uh, user before this user folder okay so you have to just enter and then again CD user then CD B and then run and bam it's running again let's check it So okay, it is working right now. So, so you have to every time set that variable. Okay. So again, we are setting that variable. Now it's not running. So you have to set every time that variable. Oops. And then again. And it's running now same as in bash if you run this from bash and then user bin it's not running and then export it and then run oops then run it's running so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one